Good morning and welcome to another video with a guy and his projects. Today we're doing a simple project that's going to hopefully increase the, uh, well, the personal value of this truck. So we just finished an oil change. Um, I just did this lift kit. Uh, hopefully you guys have seen, uh, I just did a four inch lift kit. Um, you may or may not have seen my review video on that yet. I don't know when that's posting or when this is posting. But what we're doing today is a simple little thing. When we did the lift kit, essentially, I can show you on the front. Oh, the old breather hose for the front differential no longer fit, right? So I put a breather on the front. All I did is grab some tube, popped it on the breather nipple, and then ran it up uh, into under the hood. All right, well, I pulled too far forward, so we're going to work on the back, so I can't really open this all the way. But essentially, I just ran that hose right here by the power steering fluid with a filter. Um, and we should not have to worry about that ever again. So, we're gonna do the same thing in the rear. I bought another filter. These are insanely expensive. Why I went with the insanely expensive ones, I don't know. But I bought that, and then I bought some hose. I will link both of those in the description below so that you guys can do what you need. So essentially, in the back here, if you crawl over your driver's side leaf springs, you've got your brake hose, which we uh, also replaced. Um, check out that video. I don't know if it's posted yet or will be posting, but check it out. And then we've got our breather hose. And this is so old and dry rotted and brittle, it's just not staying on anymore and uh, needs to go. Aside from the old brittle part, if you crawl under here from the factory, this is your breather hose. They just end it right there on the frame. Um, which for 95% of everybody is fine. Uh, but for me, I do like to go play once in a while and I wanna take it from that location and get it higher, whether it's in the bed or what I'll probably end up doing is behind the tail light. So I'm gonna take this tail light off. I'm just gonna pop this out and try and put the filter back behind there. And then it's pretty much in a dry spot. I'm very rarely, if ever, better not sink the truck below here, which means the filter will stay dry. So that's what we're gonna do today. All my parts are gonna be linked down below. Stay tuned. Hey, by the way, if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do that. If you haven't hit the thumbs up yet, that's justifiable. If you haven't seen the video, stay tuned. Hit the thumbs up before you leave. Uh -huh. In addition to that, parts linked down on Amazon below. It helps me out if you purchase those or click the link and purchase something different. Doesn't matter to me. It helps me out either way. Um, also PayPal link and Zelle link for donations to the channel. Those of you who have donated, thank you so much. You guys are awesome. Um, that really helps. In fact, this whole project right now, this and this is being fueled by your donations. So thank you very much. First thing we're going to do is open this crap up, which is probably the hardest part of this whole job today. These are tie rods for the Titan. If you guys want to see that video, stick around. And I'll post it. In fact, depending on what order these post in, I'm doing this today, it might be posted already. All right, so this is Briggs and Stratton hose. I will link it, whoa. I will link it down below. I bought 25 feet. Uh, so there should be plenty here. All right, so we're just gonna make sure that this is gonna fit on. This just fits on, it just threads in. It's a super tight fit, barely goes on, which is perfect. We'll lube it up when we're ready, and uh, we'll get that in there. All right, so to get this tail lamp out, looks like it's just a couple of eight millimeter bolts. Going in here to our recently organized drawer. All right, I'm just gonna pop this bolt off here. Oh, I was right, eight millimeter. And we're gonna pop this one off here. You guys don't need to see the rest, so off you go. All right, both bolts are off. I'm assuming this is gonna be pressure held in. So this is really hard. I've broken a few of these in my past in different vehicles because I don't know which way to pull. Typically, they pull straight back. Typically being keyword. So I'm gonna try and pull straight back. And hope we don't break this. That felt promising. Hey, that felt promising as well. All right, so perfect note. And I pulled this straight back. It's actually at about a 45 degree angle this way, uh, is how they should be pulled out, as you can see there, there. That said, I didn't break anything. So now you can disconnect these lights if you want, just to get this out of your way. I don't think it's really gonna be in my way, so I'm just gonna leave it hanging like that. All right, so typically it's easier to feed something down than up, so that's what we're going to do. We're just gonna feed this down and hopefully it comes out underneath 
the bed somewhere. And she came out right here in this slit. That's fine by me. I'm just gonna pull. Ugh, dirty. Whoa! <laughs> I'm just gonna feed way more than I need down there. So now to route it, we've got, I'm gonna go in over here. All right, there we go. Now this is coming through over here, and then we'll go on top of the spare tire mount. Try not to get this stuff in your eyeballs, guys. That's not pleasant. Oh! Okay, I'm gonna pull that up here. I'm gonna send it through this side. Yeah, we're gonna zip tie this stuff in place when we're done, just so it's not chafing too bad. Oh, look at that. Now we're gonna go come here. You guys are gonna be seasick when I'm done. All right, so we're gonna just plug this into this nipple right here. Oh, she's tight. Oh, that's good, we want tight. Yeah. yeah. Okay, well that's about as tight as she's getting. All right, so then we just need to figure out our length. Easiest way to do that is gonna get a jack and jack up the frame. Uh, if you're lifted, you gotta have a tall jack, of course. The biggest thing here that I think you need to do is jack up the driver's side frame because that's gonna give you the max amount of, uh, of uh, suspension flex and that'll tell you exactly where your hose needs to be. So once you have a sufficient amount of hose downstairs, we're just gonna take this and cut it to some unknown location. I wanna take this, make sure your clamp's still on there, and then you are going to Get some soapy water or water or something to put on here to help grease it. Not recommended. And then you're gonna make a mark. You only wanna go in that about that far, so it would be about right there for me. So don't recommend doing it that way, but it works out great if you do. We got that Hercules on there. She ain't coming off. Now you can just shove it in there. No, you can't. Uh, if you just shove it in there, it's gonna end up falling down and out eventually, and we don't want that. All right, so there's this little hollow opening right here. Um, that's what I'm gonna zip tie to. I'm gonna make sure the filter's in the back so that when you push this light fixture in, nothing gets in the way. Now we're gonna cut that off. Ugh, maybe. Yeah! Just gonna sit right there just like that. All right, so then this is just gonna go right back in. Make sure that your filter is not blocking the connector. So our plastic piece is going first. Ah, there we go. And we got our little eight millimeter nut bolt things. Snug it up, don't break the plastic. This is all plastic, don't break it. Go. Oh, she's tight, she's tight. In here. Please be long enough. Hey, it's long enough. All right, so that's there. Maybe we'll put another one on just for good measure. All right, two zip ties in place. Okay, now we just gotta factor in how much suspension room we've got, which is not that much. So, ah, uh, fudge. Let's go lift the truck again and uh, we'll factor in our suspension droop. There she goes. We are now breathing where we should be up there. Boop, boop. Okay, good to go. All right guys, that's all there is to it. Your differential is now breathing up in a dry, clean atmosphere. Um, we have a filter on it, so dirt ain't gonna be going in. Water ain't gonna be going in if you go under because you're way up, way up in the tail light over there. So I feel like we're protected. I did the same thing on the front. We'll probably do the transfer case next time we uh, actually lift the truck up. I just don't feel like lifting it up right now because I gotta do a lot of other projects today. So that is taken care of, crisis averted. If you guys liked what you saw, make sure you hit that thumbs up, subscribe, check out my videos. I've got a whole playlist dedicated to F-250s. Um, not just this one, I've got another one in there too from the V10. Either way, check them all out. Keep sticking around. If you feel so inclined, there's a PayPal and a Zelle link down below for donations to the channel that help make all this stuff happen. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.